I'm going to do the countdown in uh, Spanish or German? <laughs> um, English. English. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Just five days away, days away from kickoff for the Publix Bold City Showcase. First of three games pits one of Duval County's oldest schools versus a St. John's County school celebrating its 20th anniversary. Yeah, so the matchup is Robert E. Lee versus Bartram Trail. You know, while lots of focus is on certainly the big football game, that is just part of the story. News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson met with students and staff at both schools. This is the first thing you see when you enter Bartram High School as a freshman. The second you walk into this school, everyone is welcoming and they're positive and it's just the best atmosphere. It feels like a home here. <laughs> What are you guys out here doing today? Today we are helping all the upcoming freshmen, getting ready for school and their orientation, showing them their classes, and basically getting them excited for high school and prepared. I met up with some of the juniors and seniors helping out at freshman orientation, who had a lot to say about the school they spend their days at. We have excellent athletic programs. We just got a new uh, basketball court, and our football team is amazing. And I'm just really excited because of the environment at our school. Um, I just love like knowing everybody and I've lived here for 12 years and the people here are amazing. Since the year 2000, the Northern St. Johns County High School has graduated thousands of students and the principal will tell you they've put out a lot of great graduates. I hope when a student leaves Bartram Trail, they're a balanced young man and young woman and are, have the ability to make great choices when they leave school. And Bartram has something unique with respect to their football field. Back in 2005, the New England Patriots used this field in the lead up to the Super Bowl as their practice field. And the school tells me the NFL must have done something to the grass because it's so nice now that no matter what the weather is, they can play on this field anytime. That's not the only field of note that is linked to Bartram Trail High School. Back in 2007, across the country, all the way up in Alaska, Bartram was instrumental in helping a school that literally is in the Arctic Circle build a football field because it's too cold to grow grass there. Bartram students who live in Florida heat helped raise money to build one that could withstand the cold. But Bartram is only half of our story. The other half takes us to the music-filled halls in North Jacksonville. Where the band and halftime performers at Robert E. Lee High School have been gearing up for weeks for the big game against Bartram. It's a big deal around here. Everyone loves the band, and it's just it's very exciting. So you can kind of get how excited the band is about being out here. The historic high school has been among the debate on whether it's in fact the oldest in the city. But when you see the youth in the hallways, old age is not what comes to mind. Well, it is like a family environment. I mean, everything about it is great. They have awesome opportunities academically, like the early college program, which I'm involved in. While there, I bumped into Emily Merton, who just accomplished something unheard of for decades at the state swimming championship. I broke the record that was held for about 70 years by Katie Ball, and she did end up going to the Olympics, and I broke her record in the 100-yard meter or 100 yard brushstroke. And it goes beyond sports and music. Just look inside the school's engineering academy, headed up by Monique Bell. We're one of the only schools in Duval County High Schools that actually have an engineering progression. Our goal is to get students who are interested in doing anything STEM-driven in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics. We basically expose them to the engineering fields. And as I was wrapping up, I was told to not overlook one other program inside Lehigh, it seems to attract an overwhelming number of young people. It's like, okay, this is this feels like something that I can actually do. It's helping me develop myself more as a person. It's teaching me things that I never really learned. And it's helping me better myself for the future as well. So now these two schools from northern St. Johns County and northern Duval County will face off for some bragging rights. And we'll have to see whose student section filled with future leaders, musicians, and engineers is the loudest. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. And great students and teachers at both those schools, huh? Hey, watch all the big plays and more this Saturday on the Publix Bold City Showcase. Our pregame show starts at noon with the Lee and Bartram Trail game kicking off at 1. And, of course, you can follow all the action on social media as well using the hashtag Bold City Showcase.